Oh my gosh, y'all, this is probably the easiest piece of furniture I ever put together. Um, so this is the coffee table that I chose to go with the space. I kind of was having second thoughts about it because like it's this marble and the kitchen is a different marble, but I don't know, we're gonna test it out. So the couch still hasn't came, but the couch is gray. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be, so I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. Somewhere like here because the couch is gonna be right here behind it. I have to put the console table together. So that's going to um, be like underneath the TV. So, yeah, oh, we can add the top four books. I got this book for the coffee table. It's like perfect, okay? The sizing of each one is like perfect. So I'm probably gonna add a couple more things. I don't know exactly what yet, but it definitely needs just like something simple, a couple more decorative pieces, and it's gonna be a buy. When everything comes together, y'all, I'm going for a minimalistic luxe vibe in here. So, yeah, we'll see. So, I've been here jamming, okay? Like, just putting things together and jamming like all day. Um, I made a throwbacks playlist on Apple Music if you have me on there. Um, that's what I've been listening to. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear my clear glasses or my black ones. Let me show y'all what I have on. Honestly, it's like super basic, but I just have on this black bodysuit with, um, with my off-whites. Yeah, and I'm like, do I want to wear black or clear? I don't really know, and I feel like this angle is not showing you guys good. But anyway, I didn't tell you guys where I'm going. I am going to my sister's track meet. So, um, I don't know. If you've been here, you know my best friend. Her sister is a professional athlete, okay? Signed to Nike. She's going to Tokyo, okay, for the Olympics, period. And, um, yeah, she's here. And they're here in Georgia. She has a race. So I got tickets and I'm gonna go. Jay's supposed to be meeting me there. Um, and I'm really excited, I'm excited. One, to have something to do and two, like I get to see my friends from back home, a couple of them. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do and I'm running behind so I'm gonna head out. But I will vlog and show you guys if I can. So. I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I know y'all have been loving my consistency. I don't have an exact posting schedule, but I feel like I've been uploading, you know what I mean? So I have been on a juice cleanse. Today is the last day of my juice cleanse. It was a three day cleanse. Um, and honestly, it hasn't been like as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Let me see if I can hold you guys up here. So yeah, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was gonna be today. Like this morning was difficult. Like I was just thinking about all the stuff that I wanna eat. Um, thinking about what I'm gonna eat tomorrow when the cleanse is over. I don't wanna hop into, of course, just eating anything. But your girl is hungry, okay? I want some sushi. I wanna go to Panera. There's like this chicken teriyaki bowl that um, I heard was good there. I also like their Baja chicken bowl. And I feel like those are like, you know, healthy options. Um, I even want a salad. Like I want a salad from Chick-fil-A. Like I don't want anything crazy, but I just, I want to eat. But I'm thugging out this last day of the cleanse. Um, I've already lost five pounds from between the two days so far. Um, it says you can lose between, I think, like 7 to 10. So, we'll see what the scale says tomorrow. Of course, um, after doing something like this, I want to keep up the, I don't know, healthy, I guess, lifestyle. Like, I'm going to be going to the gym. I actually went to the gym the first day of the cleanse. I didn't want to go too hard because I felt like I already am, like, you know, doing something to my body and keeping food from it. So yeah, my cleanse is going pretty well. I'm happy that the scale, like I've seen a change, but I know that I need to like get in the gym and do that part. I have a lash appointment today that I'm really excited about, and I hope I have enough to get a fill because she does say like on her website, 
if you have like less than 50%, you need a full set. Go buy like TJ Maxx or Home Goods to get a few more things for the apartment. I'm kind of changing my mind about the apartment tour because, or if I do, it's just gonna feel like be a couple more months until I can do it till I get like everything that I want. I don't have everything that I want right now. Um, so if you guys just want to wait for that, yeah, but I don't know. I'm like torn because there's still a lot more things that I want to do with the place that I'm not necessarily in a complete rush to do right now, but I'm going to be getting things, um, you know, over the next couple of months. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to another day. I definitely feel like yesterday's content was weird. I don't know if I just stopped vlogging. Basically, the TJ Maxx trip was like a fail. I got one thing. They didn't have any good candles like at all. They all were trash. So we are trying again this morning. I'm about to run to Home Goods, see if they have some candles. And then I'm gonna go to Publix, get a couple groceries. Um, and then doing some work um because i did book a reservation for myself tonight at this sushi place i found little solo date so i do want to get a good amount of work in before i do that so let's get a start it is currently like 9 30 so i definitely should be able to run these two quick errands come back get some work done and go on my solo date so let me just show you guys what i'm wearing make my bed yet um i literally just have one like these shorts my jean jacket tank top and my foam runners or whatever those things are called yeah where's my glasses all right um do i have everything i think i do oh my gosh y'all i'm so excited i got my little melody playing hold on Oh my gosh, the bra's over here too. Okay, y'all. So yesterday when I went to TJ Maxx, I went to the one by our old house, which is like the ghetto. So like, no, it's not the ghetto, but like, eh. So today I came to a different area because it was like 14 minutes away. And y'all, let me tell y'all, they got a Ross right here. They have a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods, a Marshalls, and a Kirkland's, and a Dollar Tree, all right next to each other. I'm in like, I'm in heaven right now. Like literally, these are all my faves. So I'm I'm about to say bump home goods real quick and I'm going to Marshall's first because Marshall's be having the candles and they be having cute stuff. So that's where I'm about to go and then I'll go to Home Goods. And I'm so excited! Y'all understand these are my stores, okay? These are my stores. Kirkland's is really good too. Um, it reminds me of my grandma. It really does because she got me um when we had moved to like a new place in Jersey she got me a mirror and it was from Kirkland's so yeah I miss her so much but um yes I am so this just like made my morning there's a Michaels a Ross Home Goods Marshalls TJ Maxx I'm telling y'all again I just told y'all I don't care like this is just awesome now let's hope that they have good stuff in there because y'all know all these stores really be a hit or miss sometimes so wow i'm so excited like so excited let's go my mask on because i'm still masked up out here mandate lifted or not i'm wearing my mask y'all look at this <laughs> this is so accurate okay like this on a friday night Okay, so funny. And they have this one side part in skinny jeans. Love it. Story of my life. Hold on. Picking up. It says currently overthinking. I don't feel like playing with my camera. Hey y'all. So I just came back from a solo date. I decided to take myself out to eat today. Today is Thursday because really I'm going to be working like all weekend. I have a launch coming up. I'm doing a mobile app boot camp. 
um and tuesday is our open house so all weekend i want to be you know finalizing things for that going over everything so i figured i would take myself out to eat and i wanted to bring y'all but i left my camera literally when i got downstairs in the car i was like dang i forgot my camera and i was too lazy to get up to get out the car come back in the apartment back up the elevator grab the camera y'all know too much so i couldn't bring you guys with me but i had a great time the food was amazing i'm going to insert some clips from my instagram so you guys can see um i went to a sushi place it's called mf sushi and it was just really flavorful really amazing and i really enjoyed it now i'm about to relax i'm about to turn on the tv and i have to stay up pretty late i have to pick up my mom from the airport at like 12 midnight she's coming into town for her friend's birthday so i'm probably actually like barely going to see her picking her up from the airport will probably be the only time i see her you know she has like hot girl summer plans so yeah <laughs> and that's it y'all just want to give you a little update um, I had such a great time just being by myself. Um, yeah, I'm learning to like just take the risk to like go places by myself. Only certain places though, cause Atlanta be a little crazy. So, um, but that place was definitely an area I guess that I would say I felt comfortable going by myself until I find some group of like friends or something to go out with for dinner for lunch for something to come over for a glass of wine like lord please send me the right group of friends here in georgia so yeah that's it that's what's going on um to continue my little ramble i feel like this summer has not been summering um and i think maybe it's because like i'm here i don't have my friends in jersey i feel like this summer i would have went to the beach with my friends of course like going out to eat with them spending time with my nephew my godson like this summer just it's not summering it's not it doesn't feel like i don't know just not like a it's not like how I imagined it, but I also did move and I feel like moving is just such a freaking process. So that has taken up a lot of my time with packing, unpacking, furnishing, like that is a whole process in and of itself. And then I think also like just being away from family and friends, I'm like, is this summer? Because I can't tell like what what's going on. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day. So I just came from a workout. Um, it, it was pretty good. I really just did a bunch of cardio and arm stuff because y'all, my arms, like my arms, in addition to my stomach, I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been trying to look up different like arm workouts and stuff that I can do. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I did successfully complete my juice cleanse. I lost six pounds. Really, really proud of myself. Um, and I can honestly say, like, I feel lighter. I feel different. Um, I can tell the difference in how my stomach looks. And I don't know, it just makes me feel better even, like, mentally, you know, seeing the difference. I was able to put on a pair of jeans that did not fit me, y'all. Okay? They did not fit me, like, last month. And... I was able to wear them without feeling like I had this big, like, pooch area. I mean, I, put, I still have, like, a, I feel like, decent-sized pooch area, but it's going down some. So, I'm really grateful for um, those six pounds and all the pounds that I'm about to drop, period. So, yeah, today, like I said, today is Friday. I have a lot of work to do. I have a webinar coming up on Tuesday, so I really want to be focused this weekend um all work and all play so that that can go really well um but i do also want to go to target today i want to pick up these um like protein shake drinks that um that someone told me about and what else so 
some bacon because I want to make these salmon slider burgers and I want bacon on it. So that's my plan for today. I just got a package. I'm so excited. So I don't know if you guys know Mia Ray, but she's the owner of the Glamaholic brand, Glamaholic Lifestyle. And I have like three of her products already. I have her fanny pack. I've showed it on the vlog, I think, or Instagram, I don't know. Um, I have her duffel bag that the airport messed up, but I still wear it. And I have her travel tote. And now I have two more items. I think these are the last two items that I want. I don't think I want anything else that she has. I think she's dropping soon like a mesh fanny and a mesh tote, but I'm not really interested in those. So, let's see. Ripping open. Ooh. Yes, dust bag. Bag, Livaholic Lifestyle. It's not taking no more of my money, okay? No more. I remember the first time I ordered from Mia, when I felt my anxiety was through the roof, okay? Like, literally panicking like literally heart racing trying to get an order because her stuff sells out literally in minutes but this is my new baby yeah she's nice and big yes it's giving what it's supposed to give so it is a bucket bag i got the medium size it comes in like a mini or small medium and large oh it comes with two straps so i guess you can wear it like this can y'all see that? Like small, like that. Hold it. Or you can wear it on the long strap across. Up in the mirror. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Pull her in. Cute. Got a little box with a G on it. favorite definitely so you can wear this as just like you know carry it as a little bag or i seen somebody on instagram they added this strap right here here which i think was such a cute idea it's so cute i love it i love it i love it let's look in the mirror no i think this is i think this is really cute so yeah, I think it's really supposed to be like a cosmetic bag, but I would just carry this, you know, like this. I just feel like it's, it's cute, it's different. I love the shape. So, my new babies. Boom, they are cute. Did I need them? No, but that's my business. And that's it, you know, that's my business. <laughs> Every time I go grocery shopping, I tell myself that I'm gonna buy a cart. Before I go, I'm gonna order one off of Amazon the next time. Every time I go grocery shopping, I end up being crazy. And every time, I never do it. And I hate bringing the groceries in the house by myself, okay? It is so annoying it wears me out um and yeah i don't know why i haven't bought the cart because i'm literally on amazon every other dang day anyway buying stuff off of amazon i literally get packages from amazon at least you know what we're not even gonna talk about that yeah it's just oh my gosh it's so annoying but let me get some water just came back from target i did not stick to my list and i thought i was because it's supposed to be a very quick target run and then when i got there i was like you know what i might as well just get like some groceries like get a few things that i want anyway i usually don't really shop grocery shop at target like i get a few things from there i'm being nosy <laughs> i'm being nosy about the apartment across the street all right little grocery haul I got some romaine carts, that's what these are called. I'm gonna do some lettuce wraps. 
also use these on like burgers. I'm about to make a salmon burger, so I'm gonna put some of this on there. Um, I also seen on TikTok someone use this as a bun for their hot dog. I might try that as well because I'm really trying to cut like bread, um, not all the way out because I love bread, but like maybe having one meal with bread instead of like three or two meals with bread each day. So yeah, I got these little pickle bites. In the past, I had the hot ones, but I don't know, I just didn't want the hot ones, so I got the regular ones. Got these spicy black bean burgers. It's like veggie burgers. Um, these are really, really good. I eat these pretty often. Um, I usually dress it up with like some barbecue sauce, some cheese, um, saute some mushrooms, really whatever you like on them, but these are really good if you're looking for like a veggie burger option. I got some pork bacon. Lately, I've been eating turkey bacon. I got this because I wanna put bacon on my salmon burger. <laughs> Okay, your girl just got off a juice cleanse and I want some food food, okay? Got some pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna put that on my salmon burger. I got a cucumber because I'm making a, it's this salad I've been wanting to make for a while that I've seen on uh, TikTok and Instagram. It's cut up cucumbers, diced tomatoes, feta, salt, pepper, I think a little bit of vinegar too. Um, but it looks really, really good, and I love cucumbers. I love tomatoes, so I'm gonna make a little cucumber tomato salad. Got some string cheese. I don't know why it just was popping out to me. I got some garden salsa sun chips because those are delicious. Croutons for my salad. I got some wine because I'm going to be working tonight, and I haven't had wine in a little minute. It feels like, I always say I haven't had stuff in a minute, but it really be like a week. I have like a ton of stuff to do tonight, so I plan on sipping some wine while I work and listen to music and buy out. Let me get the other bags, because I left them at the door because everything was so heavy, I just dropped everything. All right, let's see what's in this bag. All right, so I got some panko in case I do like some um, chicken parm. Or sometimes, you know, when you put panko on like shrimp, you know, you put it in the egg and you dip it in the panko, something like that. I got the feta for my tomato salad and my um, salads in general. The vinegar, I got some relish for my tuna salad I'm gonna be making, some mustard. Um, and I've been craving grilled cheese, y'all. I know that's bread, that'll be one of my bread meals. But I've been craving it, so I'm probably gonna make it sometime this weekend. And so I just got a little creamy tomato soup. Like, you know, quick and easy to make to satisfy my um, grilled cheese and tomato soup craving. Got some iced tea that I'm going to slowly sip. Iced tea is my guilty pleasure, it's my weakness. I love iced tea, I love it sweet, so yeah. I got some stir fry sauce because if you are not using the Kikkoman, Kikkoman? Uh, stir fry sauce, then what are you doing? When I make my shrimp stir fry, this is just so, 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 so good. Uh, I bought this, I'm gonna put this on my salmon burger. Never had it before, but it's a honey chipotle dressing made with flavors of honey, lime, chipotle, pepper. So yeah, hopefully this is really good on my salmon burger, we'll see. Some protein goodies, so. Oh, I did get some steak seasoning too. I wanna make a steak. I didn't buy the actual steak yet though. <laughs> um, but, so you guys know, I'm trying to get my life together with my eating and you know, losing this weight. So, um, someone recommended me these protein shakes. They are by Atkins. Um, yeah, I got strawberry and I got one in chocolate. They were only like $6, so I thought that was pretty good. And she just told me that she has it like for breakfast with like a few slices of bacon or for lunch as a meal replacement. So I'm gonna be testing these out in strawberry and in chocolate. And then I also got their peanut butter cups because I love chocolate and I thought, Hey, if I can't have a Reese's and you telling me this is a healthier option and zero grams of sugar, we'll see how they taste, you know? I don't know. And then I also tried their um, sweet and salty dark chocolate sea salt caramel crunch bites. So, 
I'll let y'all know how this goes, okay? But I'm about to put these groceries away and I'm gonna get started on my salmon burger. I was so excited. I haven't ate, it's three o'clock. I haven't ate, I've been fasting today. Um, I just felt led to fast um, two more days after my cleanse. So my cleanse wasn't like a spiritual fast. I literally did that cleanse hoping to like lose weight and like, you know, practice discipline because that's the area that I've been slacking in. So after that, I don't know, it was just like, I felt led to spiritually fast for two days. So yesterday I fasted six to six, and then today I fasted six to three, and my quiet time has been so amazing. God took me back to the original way that I studied his word when I first began to build my relationship with him, and I'm like, yo, why did I stop doing this? Like, this method works for me. It allows me to, I don't know, retain his word in another way. It allows me to reflect so I'll probably share that in another video, but I was really glad, I'm really glad that I obeyed my spirit to fast spiritually for two days because, I don't know, I feel like maybe I wouldn't have been taken back to that original method where like his word is, you know, I don't know, it, it's hitting me a little different. So I hope that makes sense, y'all. I'm hungry, I'm about to cook. I will show you guys my salmon burger when I'm done. <laughs> One who my sandwich not about to slap. Okay, I wish y'all could see. It. Look at this. Look at that salmon. Mm. I kind of want my cheese a little melted. Er, bam. Just okay. My bun. <laughs> my bun. I know it looked a little dark, but it's very soft. Y'all can see it's soft. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's about to be so good. Okay. 